Welcome everyone to another review. This is the second review today, and then afterwards I'm going in as it is getting colder. So, I'm going to be reviewing the Aturo Fuente Brand Reserva. Now, I didn't get any information off much from Amy. I asked her once before. So, I'm going to tell you, this looks like a miniature Perfecto. Uh, but it does say that there's a Cameroon, Candela, Connecticut, and Connecticut Broadly, uh, wrapper. It's filled with, uh, it's Nicaraguan, uh, it's the origin Dominican Republic. So, it says here, um, it's, uh, it's a time and a place for risky taking, like Vegas, for example, and then there's time and a place when you just want to guarantee an outcome of plus. Long after a long hard day of bringing home bake, uh, the bacon, when it comes to consistency, a turro point taste is just the winning lottery every single day. Consistent quality. So, uh, it doesn't say much. It, uh, doesn't say what type of fillers. It says mild to medium body and beautifully constructed. Personality, dependability. If you could cook your, if only they could cook your dinner, you wouldn't need much else in this world. Well, Yes, but like I said, I don't know what size this is, and I don't know uh, what this is. So, let's uh, fire it up, and let's uh, see how well this do. But I'm doing a sniff test for once. I'm not, I'm picking up pure hay and a little cedar in this, so, you know, uh, the Fuente family... Uh, Fuente Sr. passed away recently, rest his soul. So, first I want to give a shout out to Amy, thank you for the cigar. Um, once and for all, uh, Amy, maybe later in the description, if you watch this, you can tell me what type of stick this is, size, and what wrapper it is. Amy said this is sitting in her humidor for six months, she sent me a cigar bomb for Christmas, and this is one of the ones, I got four of them. I gave two to my cousin. Because he's been so kind to let me stay here. And two for myself. One to smoke, one for review. And yes, I did smoke one. And the first one I smoked, smoked like a dream. Please excuse me, I'm, my pants are falling down and it's getting cold. So, let's uh, fire this up with the bit. And the bitch going out because it's just too damn cold. As Aaron would say, I'm smoking, or trying to burn, the nipple. So, worst case scenario, I'll have to find another cigar lighter that maybe has more or fuel. Let's see if this one does. Seems these bits are just notorious for uh, not working. And this one got fuel, but it ain't firing up. So, uh, I hope I don't have to resort to smoking it with a match. So, let me just say the draw on this cigar is just terrible. So, hopefully, let's just try cutting it a little more when we go by the garbage can. Let's cut this thing just a little bit. And I'm going to have to probably go and get my poker 
the draw and drive it into this. I cut it. It's rock hard. So, in my opinion, it is. I'm picking up cedar, hay, and a little cocoa. So, uh, all I want to say to you all is stay tuned for the uh, halfway point, and I will have this cigar fixed, I think. Thank you, and stay, stay tuned. Welcome back to the halfway point of this Arturo Fuente uh, Grand Reserva. It's smoking really good. It looks like I might be doing a third review tonight because my cousin and cousin-in-law decided to go to dinner tonight at one of my favorite breweries in town, leaving me to fend for myself, so you know how it goes. I got some money, but they don't deliver out here, so... Hopefully I can find something to eat. I was hoping to ask them to pick me up something and I'll give them money when they get in. I wouldn't mind a little Caesar pizza with uh, their bread, but their $8 box set. So, halfway point. She's burning okay. There is a couple little wonkiness, but that's because it's the Bic lighter. I don't have a, uh, bur a burner, you know, dual flame or triple that's working. Maybe it needs to be purged. I've heard the lines do need to be purged from time to time, but I don't know how to do it. So maybe someone in the watching us in the comments can post what they think. So so far the cigar is medium bodied, medium strength. I'm picking up light lajero, light cedar, light pepper. This cigar is pretty much smoking on a dream when it comes to flavor. And that's something that I could say I really do like and love very much. Please excuse me, that was a notification in my email. Again, two for the Google Social Network and one for Google Play it just came in. So where the people complain on Google uh, social network that the calendar future isn't working for itineraries, whether it be boat, train, or plane. Of course, that's the truth right now. Google is too lazy to fix it, so everyone's complaining about it. In my opinion, flavors are just amazing. I'm going to have to rummage through the can here since family is going to be uh, going out to dinner tonight. They need some time anyways by themselves. So I will look for something to review and then maybe it'll be ramen for dinner or uh, something else. I don't know. But my motto is there is food in the fridge that they don't like leftovers, waste not, want not, so maybe I can find something. I don't know. But anyways, I'm at the halfway point of this cigar. I do got it a light canoe, so let's see if we can fix this while talking to you all. I was hoping to get a little piece of pizza or something on the way home and then uh, eat it. I know reheating it in the oven is the best way for most foods. I like using it that way anyway. So let's just check here if I'm passing. The ashtray is on the floor. There's concrete floor. And then I got a thing here to put the cigar down before it goes into the final third. So I want to say to you all, stay tuned for the final third. Thank you. Welcome back to the final third of this Aturo Puente, um, what do you call it? Aturo Puente, um, Grand Reserve. I don't know what size it is, but this isn't smoking pretty good. The flavors are consistent. Cedar, this time it's picking up a little oak. I'm picking up creamy butteriness. You can pick up the Lajero and a little bit of pepper, so. In my opinion, this cigar is a medium body, medium strength cigar. And for some of you out there, I apologize because I've been mourning Aaron and doing reviews. I keep forgetting to tell you the strength, in my opinion. But I do give you honest reviews. I do want to say, if you haven't tried this cigar, go ahead and try it. And whatever Vitolia you like, and whatever um, wrapper that they offer in the Grand Reserva. Uh, Carlos Fuente Sr. did a good job blending these, and I gotta say that these are a really, really good cigar. Talking about 
cigar for a minute. Before I sign off, I do want to say I would love to try The God of Fire uh, by Carlos Fuente Sr. as well as the uh, Opus X by Carlos Fuente and the Opus X Lost City. I know there's many Vitolas. Some say there's the Opus X Shark. Some say others. I just don't know the entire line of Vitolas. So, the bottom line is, I highly recommend this cigar uh, for you all, and um, in my opinion, it's one of those cigars that you truly can enjoy uh, any time of day. Now, with me, uh, it's still light out to a point, and, um, and uh, it is a great, great cigar. And uh, I want to thank Amy for this lovely cigar. Amy has been there for me. Same with Johnny Six. But Johnny Six hasn't emailed lately. I want to thank Amy for the cigar bomb. And I want to thank Amy also for the flies. That was a great thing. Being a fly fisher, it was great seeing some very beautiful handmade flies in a fly case. Um, for some of you out there, I'm looking to get some new fly rods, and maybe in the next video I will talk to you more about fly fishing while I review what everyone I pull out of the review can right down there. And hopefully this time around, I don't need to use a uh, pipe reamer to open it up. I actually had to cut this uh, off at the end. There was no draw, so I was figuring what's happened with the cigar itself was um besides trying to light it with a bick which i'm hoping to figure out what to do with the next one uh because you know it, it's a good cigar and i might look to see if there's any other cigar um lighters in the house that has a bigger flame so i can actually uh uh, you know, light it properly, even with a regular lighter. I mean, I do prefer the, uh, torch lighters, but I don't know where my cousin put his, and the three or four that I brought are not working, uh, worth the damn. So I have no clue what to say or do about it. I don't know where he put it, otherwise I would have used it and cranked out and burned properly. And as you know, I got two cane nubs to review and they come with a free lighter a cane nub lighter by Holt so let's hope it works good I tried to get the nub sampler, the cane nub sampler but the lady's like no you get the promotion of the free lighter because we're offering the free lighter uh, with the box at $59.95 the cane nub F was $69.95 I didn't buy it, I've tried it, I reviewed it with Aaron you can check out cane nub F uh, below if you wish or search for it on our channel there's a search box and uh, go ahead and watch and let us know uh, I do want to review the other two uh, there is three others but I'm reviewing two of them I do want to say that Aaron wanted to review the Habano and the Maduro or the Happy and the Matty so you know I'm hoping one day Kane comes out with a Cami, a Cameroon wrapper and a Connie, a Connecticut wrapper So, before I leave to go back home to Moses Lake, I will review those two for you in this garage. So, um, I'm hoping I can get one more review done and plug it, and then plug the charger into the wall here while it's charging. And I'm hoping I don't freeze to death while doing the review. You all remember I was. Freezing, I got my hand on one of my hands under my pants just to keep it warm while I'm puffing on this here fine cigar. So, um, there you have it. So, do I recommend it? Yes, at least try it once. There's a lot of cigars on the market. My opinion is, and this is my honest opinion, try them all. What you don't like, Scratch them off the list, continue down the path. Maybe you got a bad one, or maybe you didn't like that size of Vitola, you can always try a different Vitola. If you don't like that one, then you know you don't like the cigar because of the Vitola. Each size, as Johnny Six says, changes flavors. Like me, I like 6 by 60s or 4 by 60s or Johnny Six like Toros, Aaron like Toros, the others like Longtails, others like 
Churchill. Some like Bellicosos. Aaron loves Torpedoes as well. So, it just depends. So, with that said, everyone, please add and subscribe. Please post comments. Please leave feedback suggestions. If you smoked this or you haven't, just leave us, let us know in the comments below. Thank you, Amy. And enjoy every puff.